Bryce, you're on the line with Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Bryce, what's going on? I'm chilling. What's going on with you? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Are you in L.A. right now? No, I'm in Philly. Philly. I'm in Philly. Okay, well, I'm going to introduce you to our audience. This is Bryce Johnston. He is a castaway on the upcoming season of Survivor Kaigayan, which is Brains, Beauty, Brawn, which they will be split up in different tribes. And I know that you are a part of the Beauty uh, tribe. Um, I know you can't talk about your experience on Survivor, but I want to know what made you want to do Survivor? What made you want to come on the show? I just, I love Survivor, Kevin, like, yeah, everybody watches The Real Housewives of Atlanta and loving bad, loving hip hop, but it's like you get all that drama on Survivor. It's that we on the island, we don't got no food, and it get real mighty quick. So it's like <laughs> Survivor, it just brings the drama. You like that WWE, right, Kevin? We the challenges. It's like it's physical. It's drama. You gotta survive. You gotta. It, it, it encompasses everything, so it, it's a great show. It's been on for just as the 28th season, so it had it's something right if it's on 28th season. I know that's so right. I just, I'm obsessed with the show. Bryce, this is Mikkel. Hey, Mikkel. Hey. Um, I have a question. Now, we all know watching Survivor for the past 20-something seasons that it is really physically strenuous. Did you have to, like, get prepared physical wise to do this show because I know somebody like me I don't think I would be able to do it physically because I, I ain't in shape or nothing like that but for you when you it, found it, out that, that you were actually picked for this particular season did you have to get physically fit? I mean, I I would like to consider myself somewhat physically fit, but I did hire a personal trainer because I just wanted to make sure I ain't had no stomach going on and stuff. I'm a runner, so I run like four to five miles every other day in the springtime. So oh, yeah, you do. I definitely I wanted to make sure that. I'm going to be representing Philly. I didn't want to be on on national TV looking a mess. But the thing about Survivor is it's not for, it, it is a physical game, but it's also a mental game. Mm -hmm. It's also a social game. So people can look at me and not think that I'm physical, but I can play a, a really good social game and that can carry me throughout the season. So it's not just physical and it's not just what you look like, which is the great thing about Survivor because it's like you never know what's going to happen. So what was the casting like um, for this show? What was the what? The casting. The casting process. Uh, the craziest thing is I'm a fan of the show, Kevin. So literally, like, I was sitting at home and it, the little bulletin came across the screen and it was like, send your submission to CBS.com if you want to be a castaway. So I got my little, I had me a little glass of Miss Gato. I know, that's um, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I got my iPhone, Kevin, and I just talked to my phone for like three minutes and I'm so slow, I went to go send an email and my email was like, this file is too long and I'm all stressing about it. So literally I only sent them a 45 second clip because I could not convert my email to, to be smaller. And I sent them a 45 minute, a 45 second clip and I mean like a month later they called me back and you know, it kind of begun from there. So it was like a crazy experience. What, did, you, did you have to like take off from work? Like what did you tell your job? Like, how did you prepare them that you were going to be on Survivor? Because I'm sure that's like a process. Definitely, definitely. I told my boss, I said, listen, Survivor call. So if y'all still want me to be here, y'all will hold my job for not giving. <laughs> but it, it was definitely a process because I'm actually a social worker. So I actually worked for the state. So I actually had to get approval from the commissioner. Oh, and wow. I had to write off. But yeah, so it was a big ordeal. But my job was really, really supportive of that. And, you know, I'm a good worker, you know. I'm easy on the eyes, so I was able to see <laughs> my boss and stuff. So it wasn't an issue at all. So how has your life changed, you know, since being on Survivor? I would say my life, I don't know. You know, you hear these people that go on Survivor and they're like, oh, my God, it totally changed my life. And it totally, for me, what it did, it really validated the things that I already knew about myself. Like, you know, you always think these things about yourself. And I like, I thought a lot of different things about myself, but going on Survivor and actually being out there and actually interacting with the different people and, you know, knowing my, like, you know, like, you know, Whitney said, I didn't know my own strength. I knew my own strength going on there. 
And I really kind of just owned that moment. And I really was be able to just be myself. And so that's the one thing that I just kind of took from being on Survivor that I am myself and I'm going to be myself to the day I die. And I'm proud of myself. And, you know, for a long time, I really was not proud of myself. Um, you know, just being a gay black man, you know, growing up, it just was a lot. But, I, you know, I'm just so blessed that I'm the person that I am today and that I can say I'm proud of my accomplishments and who I am, who I am becoming. Because, ooh, he's working on me. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Bryce, now I know you personally yeah. and I know that you are an outgoing person. But... I want you to be honest. Being on this island, were you scared or no? Listen, <laughs> it got dark. <laughs> okay, I can't say much. You know, you guys have to tune in February twenty sixth, CBS two hour premiere, eight p.m. But listen, when it got dark, I was listen. I was praying. I was like, oh Jesus, like I'm really out here. Like, right? We are really like I. <laughs> it's totally different from Philly, right? <laughs> totally, totally different, different from Philly. I mean, you know, I, I can, you know, I know how to run from somebody, but definitely it was no cocky <laughs> Not sport, no it animals, was no huh? <laughs> It was no Brazilian weeds. Like, it was right. real out there. So were you able to experience the Philippines or was it straight work while you were out there? You know, while we were on Survivor, I was on Survivor. Okay. 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 That is great. I don't, I don't know if I can live without television, phones, internet, or none of that just to be the hell out there. I, don't, I can't do that. So Before we got on the plane, they took our phone oh, and wow. they <laughs> right then and there almost died. Like, I, you know, growing up in this age, it's like going a couple of hours without your phone is killer. So mm -hmm. when they took my phone, it, it was real. Like, I was having like a panic attack. Like, I need to update my status. I need to post an Instagram photo. Okay. Like, it was just, right. it, it's just, you know, crazy. After being on this show, do you think in the future, if Survivor ever did, like, this big, like, reunion somewhere on another island and they called and said, Bryce, would you like to be a part of it? Would you, would you go and do it or would you be like, nah, I'm cool? Oh, I would absolutely do it again. A hundred percent. Because this, you know, being a part of the Survivor family now is just, it's crazy. So absolutely, they listen. They will call. I would drop the phone to be running. You know, when, I'm sorry to cut you off, Kevin. But you know, when you, when I found out that you were on Survivor, the first person that I thought of was Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Because I'm like, she's like one of the most recognizable Faces former me. cast members of that series. And I was just like, wow, he's up there with her, like of all people. Definitely. That's crazy. Definitely. So now you're and my... It's just like a, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now I'm just... The possibilities are endless. And, you know, I definitely want to use my time wisely. You know, I'm working on a fragrance line right now. Oh, I know that's right. That's you can get started it. early. I know that's the all right. I am not dumb. So, <laughs> you know, it'll be available this spring. Fragrance yes. is my great idea. So, I'm definitely, like, you know, trying to make my most of whatever I can do. So... And I know today is your birthday, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Thank Bryce. You guys. So how you Thank gonna you. how you gonna celebrate your birthday? I'm about to come up is Mama Scorpion cooking, I'm about to I'm about to shoot up North Philly. Well look, let me tell you something. It's a chocolate mixer going on tonight that I'm going to at um fifteenth and Samson, so if you're not doing anything you should come so I can get you some drinks. Okay, listen. Drink on the scorpion? All right. <laughs> Did you say tonight? Tonight. Oh. I'm talking about tonight. Yes. So okay. I got I to gotta ask you another question. Um, I know you can't give anything away about this season or anything, but are you still in contact with any other cast members that you were there with? Um, I am in contact with some, but I am definitely not in contact with all. Oh, my <laughs> God. Right. They must have tried you on that. Uh, right. I'm going like, to tell, tell you right now. I'm going to tell you like I told Tamar. Okay, I told Tamar Braxton a few years ago before the Braxton Family Value started that she was going to be the breakout star on that show. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that you are going to be the guy that every week people are going to be like, oh, I can't wait to see what he has to say or what he's going to do. Because I just know you and I know your personality. So yes. I'm like, this guy's going to give him hell. Listen, you know, I think mean, that, that, that Philly came out a couple of times, and I, I think, you know, I think caught some off guard. So, you know, know. That's gonna be a, it'll be a fun ride. And the thing about it is, people who are not from Philly don't really understand the Philly when it comes out of you. Like, when it comes out, it definitely mm -hmm. comes out. 
They learned on that island. <laughs> well, look, I don't want to get you in trouble. So um, we're going to see you later tonight. Well, I want to see you later tonight because I know Mikael is not going to go nowhere. Well, I don't have to work yeah, tomorrow. You know, so you don't. Oh, well, right. I got to work tomorrow. He said already he got to work tomorrow, right? I don't. I, I said I don't have to work. <laughs> How you know? No. So Mikael should come on out too. And I know that you're, um, you're having a party at Jolly's on Wednesday, right? Yes. All right. So if you're it's just a small get together for my friends from Philly, friends and family. <laughs> I'm so that's basically, right. that's not, oh, that's not, that's not right. Right. Oh, I thought that was very surprising. Yeah, surprising. <laughs> I caught it, and I'm looking oh, at Kevin like, God. Well, I'm going to try to make it to your, uh, your function on uh, Wednesday so I can come out and support. So how can people get in contact with you on your social networks if they want to follow Definitely. you? Definitely. Instagram and Twitter, you know, at Bryce Isaiah, B R I C E I Z Y A H. You definitely can find me. And all of that will be inside the more info box so y'all can go over there and follow him. So y'all can get to know Bryce now before he gets on the show. Um, Survivor premieres this Wednesday night at 8 p.m. 7 Central on CBS. And, you know, Bryce, good luck. Because I can't wait to watch. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I love y'all. And I think. Everything that y'all doing is amazing. I've been a fan of the Scorpion show since Mama Scorpion was cutting out the fear of people. <laughs> and they're going to come in, in the hood. So I definitely love y'all and I support everything that you do. And I, I just even thank you for the opportunity. All right. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you too, Bryce, for, you know, me and you talking the other day and you not even mentioning that you were coming on my show. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See y'all later. All Bye. right. Bye. I'm ready. What? Bitch, that tour can wait. Like, I'm surprised you ain't had nothing um, on while we was doing that interview. What? That's how it should always be. What you talking I'm about? I'm surprised ain't nothing ring or bleep or boop. boop. Oh, because the phone was doing the interview and everything. Well, you know your iPad goes off too. Oh, well, I don't have no excuse for the iPad today. But I hope y'all enjoyed that interview with Bryce. You know, Bryce is, you know, he's kind of crazy, but I think he's going to do good on the show. So um, I can't wait to see him on Survivor because I don't watch Survivor, but I will be watching to see him on it because I know him. And I might actually fall in love with Survivor and watch other ones. But um, please make sure you start this video all by clicking that thumbs up button and share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And I see y'all be using the hashtag The Scorpion Show on Instagram. So a shout out to y'all that do that. Um, you know, this has been an interesting week for, you know, stories. Not a lot of entertainment stories. Well, there's some entertainment stories. But I first want to start off with juror number four that was on the Michael Dunn trial. She spoke to ABC News about, you know, being in the jury room and she, how she said when they first walked in the room, it was 10 for 2 for guilty. Straight off the bat, just asking, do they think he's guilty or not guilty? Then they started breaking things down and everything. And she was like, eventually it went from nine to three on murder on murder one. And um, she just said some just felt that he was really defending himself and the rest of them didn't. And I'm, I'm getting mad because they, they're making too much noise downstairs. And there was a white juror that spoke out. And she said that race didn't play a factor at all while they were doing this. But I, to me, it it's all about race. Because if it was white people in the car with loud music, I don't think he would have went off. I hate to say this, and I hate to take it to race, but white folks always say it's not about race when it is. And the reason why a lot of them always say, oh, it's not about race is because they're not, they're not and they've never been subjected to racism. So therefore, when people, that's why they're always the first one, why y'all always got to bring a race in it? Why y'all always got to, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. They don't understand because they're not used to it. So naturally, a white woman would say it wasn't about race. That's bullshit. Continue. All right. So, um, you know, so they asked us, he's like, so if you was in Michael Dunn's position, what you would have done differently? She said, roll the window up, move the parking spot, move to the front of the store. You know, she right. just was giving all kinds of stuff she right. would do and said, but killing someone, that wasn't it necessary. Wasn't, yeah, it wasn't necessary at all. Michael Dunn had many options. Like she said, he could have gotten his... Pumped his gas, got in his car, 
and drove to the front of the store where his girlfriend was inside and waited for her there. Or he could have parked his car and went inside the store with her. They could have gotten their car and went on their merry way. And mm -hmm. this boy would still be alive and he wouldn't be in jail. Yes. Everybody would have had a good night. Well, he eventually did have a good night because he killed somebody and then went and had dinner. Mm -hmm. And didn't tell anybody. That yes, he and walked the dog, ordered pizza. And had wine. Because yeah. he said he had wine, wine. too. Oh, yeah. And didn't call the cops. And like, didn't call the cops. That, I, I still don't get that. And yeah. to be on a jury, first of all, that would have been the first thing in my mind. Bitch, you want to... You want to not call the cops, you're guilty. Because right. you're running away. Anybody that's guilty runs away. Nobody that's guilty just call the cops and say, oh, I did this. He left the boy there to die while his friends and everybody else called the cops. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, while this boy's mom and dad are at home or at the hospital grieving for their dead son, he's at home having wine and pizza. Yep. And, I, and I've seen some... Um, and they don't think it's race? Come. What? No. Is it me? It, no, well, seriously, oh, is it me? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, common sense. Like, I don't get... You know what this reminds me of? I think I told you about... I had to do... Um, I had to go to court, traffic court. The other, No, I didn't tell you. No. So I had to go to traffic court over in Jersey, um, like, last week because of the incident that happened last month when I got stuck over there in the snow. Oh, yes, okay. To my car. Well, you know, they gave me some tickets or whatever. So I had to go to court. So as I'm sitting in the courtroom, of course, naturally, you're in the room with like hundreds of other people. And naturally, you have to wait one by one today okay. and you have to listen to why it is they're there. So this one guy gets up, young white guy, he gets up and he, the judge is telling him why, you know, what he's there for and this and the third. So the judge says to him, I'm reading here that it's, you had, when you went to somewhere, I guess when he was arrested or whatever, they gave him a drug test and he, test and he was tested positive for heroin mm -hmm. and oxy or Excotton. or whatever the hell it was. Mm -hmm. So in any event, the guy's like, mm -hmm. mind you, not once did he ever deny that he does those drugs. He just was confused at, you know, when this all took place. So this is what he had the nerve to tell the judge in front of all of us. So the judge says, so he says, Your Honor, I don't recall the, that, that test. I don't recall it at all. So the judge says, um, what do you mean you don't recall it? He said, I don't ever recall taking that test. He said, you didn't take this test to, uh, to, for this stuff when you got arrested? So he goes, well, I honestly don't think that I would take those type of drugs if I knew I was getting tested. Oh, no. This is what he said, Kevin. This is what he said. Mind you, here I go. What the hell? And everybody looked at me. I'm like... Is it me? <laughs> so you know what the judge did? The judge put the paper down and he said, well, you know, when they give you tests like this, they don't tell you ahead of time that they're going to test you for these things. They just randomly do it. And he's sitting there like, and I'm waiting for him to say, no, I don't do these drugs. But basically it was like, no, I don't think I would do that if I knew I was getting tested. tested. Mm -hmm. That's what, how I feel about this. What do you mean? Like, uh, it's stupid. Just stupid. And to say that race wasn't a part of this, it makes me think that you think that I'm dumb. For you to come out and say, no, race wasn't a part of it. You think that I'm dumb to believe that. And I don't believe it, juror number four. So, I'm going to need for y'all to admit that y'all got it wrong. No, or, she don't think that or, she got it wrong. Well, she, what did she get? What she, did she, she said he was guilty. She was a part of the original. Well, I need thing. for them, to, for her to admit, or for the rest of them. You know what? Basically, I don't even want to hear anything from them. <laughs> like, uh, for why? You know what I'm saying? You I want to be honest with you. didn't vote for I don't really you know, think it really anyway. matters because it's like, it's like George Zimmerman getting up there and giving his side of why he killed Trayvon Martin. At the end of the interview, Trayvon Martin is still dead. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, whether or not the jurors say why they voted for it or why they didn't, that boy is still dead and they still let this man go on count one of murder. So I really don't care why y'all didn't think that he was guilty because y'all just proved to us that the system is flawed and it does not work and the people in Florida are not worth shit when it comes to being on a jury. The only Florida I trust is Florida Evans and she is dead. Oh wow, you gotta go off for 40 days and 50 nights, bitch. Well look, okay now here's another issue. Let me tell you something, if I get killed in Florida, please don't let them trial the killer in Florida. <laughs> well, you know it's gonna happen Please, Florida. you better get in front of this camera and you better go <laughs> off like you do. And you, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm giving, you, on, I'm I'm giving on, you a chance. <laughs> I'm telling you personally, you take a sip and you go the fuck <laughs> off. And it's, you better make sure that they don't let my killer go free. I'm going to think I'm going to be going off and me start crying like candy and stuff. No, don't start crying. I don't want you to cry on camera. I want you to go to Florida. Oh. You better not go to Florida then. 
I won't. Right. This shit, you know, because down in Florida, it's just letting me know that you can kill a young black man and get the fuck away with it. Now listen, now this is another story. Now let's not get it, you know, because I have my opinion on it, and I don't care if y'all get mad at me about my opinion. Now there's another story where the guy's claiming stand your ground, mm -hmm. but this time it's a black man, and he killed, he's either black or he's Latino. Now this is the situation. <laughs> They've been having robberies. Don't that sound familiar? Uh -huh. They've been having robberies in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And the girlfriend of the guy, she who, seen who something. Who was killed or who did the killing? The, the girlfriend of the guy that did the killing, she says she seen something on somebody on the lawn or whatever. Running past or whatever. So the boyfriend comes out and he comes, I mean he comes out and he chased after him. I don't know what happened. But see, this is this is where it's kind of funny, and, and you don't know what really happened. So the guy shot the um, the other guy in the back, mm -hmm. I think two times. When the cops found the guy, the the kid, he had a gun inside his waistband. So now it's like you don't know if he was guilty, or oh, you don't know to commit a crime. Yes, or, or just... not, or just was innocent. Now I don't I don't know if he had a uh, license to carry a gun because I didn't read that at all. But well, can I just say this? Go ahead. I don't think that. Okay, now she's now okay because the story does sound a little weird. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the way you're telling it. But from the way Try you're telling, no, because you know sometimes you do tell stories mm -hmm. real weird. But the way you're Try. telling it, it sounds like the guy didn't break into the house. The mm -hmm. girlfriend got alarmed because she saw him so, close to the property and she felt alarmed because he looks somebody suspicious. on the on lawn. Yeah, he looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. So then she tells her boyfriend. He goes out of the house to chase this guy to figure out what he's doing, and eventually he pulls out a gun on the guy and shoots him in the back. Yeah, but see, I don't know why he shot him in the back. Well, I can tell you why he shot him in the back. Because he probably felt threatened or scared. But this is the thing. I don't condone you shooting somebody in the back, especially if they didn't do anything wrong. Because if you think that they're doing something wrong or if they look suspicious, that still does not give you the right to shoot somebody, especially if you shot him and he wasn't even on your property. But he was. No, was he on the property when he got killed? Or did was oh, he off the property he, when he got killed? He, they they went around like two. Well, then he was wrong. He's not on your property and he's not in your house. What right does that give you to kill somebody around the corner because they were on your lawn? She, they might have been trying to break in. You okay, they may have been. Listen to what you're saying. They may have been trying to, but there's no proof that they were. You see what I'm saying? That's like me. That's like your mom looking out the window and seeing me standing on your steps. And then you come out the house and chase me around the corner. I haven't even attempted to break in or to not break in. But see, so you don't know what I was doing. This is the problem. I don't know what happened. Right. So you but know listen, I don't know what happened, but this is the problem. A lot of people are just pulling out guns and shooting no people <laughs> without right. talking. This is the problem. You need to talk, communicate. They should have called. The best thing they would have did, they should have did, was call the cops. Because this is my thing. I know he probably feels as though everybody's going to be on his side, but no. If you're wrong, then you're wrong. Because this is my. This is what I've always been taught, and this is what I've always known. If someone is on your property and they're in your house without, you know, forcefully or whatever the case may be, that's self defense. Especially if you didn't invite them in your house and they come in your house, that's self defense. Yeah, but but you can't. You can't shoot nobody. Or chase nobody around the corner and then shoot them because your girlfriend saw the fence. Listen. Yeah, but Kevin, listen to listen to. But see, what you're saying, everything that you're saying, whether it's on the fence or on the grass, that still does not give them a warrant to run around the corner and shoot somebody. No matter how, they neither one of them said that he broke in the house. Neither one of them said that he tried to break in the house. All they said was, from your account, that he was either on the grass or on the fence. That still does not give anybody... Because if that's the case, you know what? I would have been dead a long time ago. You know how many doors I done knocked on years ago playing Ding Dong Dixie? <laughs> I would have been dead a long time ago. So you can't do. You can't just shoot somebody because they're on your property and you don't know why they're... Somebody say, come on. If that was the case, then they should have called the cops. But then your boyfriend chases him around the corner and then shoots him in the back. You're wrong right then and there because you're shooting somebody in the back. Whether he had a gun or not, that he didn't pull the gun out on you. I wasn't there, but it's funny. It's funny because he had a gun on him. That's something I find funny because people, normal people, don't walk around without guns without a uh, um, a permit. A permit. But then who's to say that he didn't have a permit? I don't know. Because I, I just see. saw, you know, I love the people's court. I just saw a case like this recently where the woman had a gun. She was a homeowner. You no, know, she was renting to these people in the mobile home and she had a gun. And the guy that she was renting to, he felt threatened and he called the cops because the woman had a gun when she came over to him. She didn't have it waving, but she had it on her. Mm -hmm. So the judge, Judge really I asked her, she said, just by curiosity, um, why did you have the gun with you when you went to him? She said, 
because I can. Because I have a permit to carry. Mm-hmm. And the judge says, well, hey, you're right. You do. You can. So you can walk around with a gun yeah, without you a have permit? A per- Without a permit, no. That's how people go to jail with a uh, permit. If you have a permit, no, I'm to carry, about, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about with the permit. Yes, you have a permit uh, to carry. You can do that. But I'm saying you don't have to have your permit on you, like. Oh, I don't know about permit. that. But if you have a permit to carry, then yes, you can. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, but you can. But see, this is my thing. We don't know the guy who got shot. We don't know why he had his gun on him. He could have had a permit. He couldn't have had a permit. But I think it's a little fishy that somebody would chase somebody around the corner and then shoot them in the back. First of all, you should have never left your house. You should have just called the cops if you felt that threat. Yeah, but then that's see, just me. Now, see, I don't know how the black people are going to react because now it's black on. Well, I can tell you how I can react. If the story is the way you said it, then the guy is guilty. He shouldn't have shot that man. He yeah, should have called they, the they cops. Char- they charged him. See, but it's just so funny how fast they charged him with second degree murder. Because now it took them well, let me months. You, but let me ask you, see, now, let me tell you this. Did the man die? Who? The man who he shot. Oh, yeah. So died. then how are we going to ever know if he tried to rob them or not? We don't know. We don't know. No, we don't. He could have been knocking on or coming to their house to ask for directions or something. I we wish don't know. I remember his name because I am trying to find his name. I don't know if it's Ricardo. Look. I just think that you just can't jump on somebody's side because, you know, of the skin color. If he's wrong, then he's wrong. No matter if he's black, white, Latino, Asian. If he's wrong, he's wrong. And like I said, I don't know the full story, but the way Kevin told me the story just now, it sounds like the man is wrong. You can't just shoot somebody because they're on your lawn. And then he's not on your lawn, especially when you shoot him. He's around the corner, and then you shoot him in the back around the corner. Is his name? I think this is it. Richard Rivera? Ricardo Rivera? No. I'm going to ask somebody on Twitter. Okay. So we're going to go to talk about Ludacris, because I'm going to come back to it. Ludacris? I'm gonna, yes. Okay. Ludacris is telling the judge. The rapper Ludacris. Yes. That he can't pay $18,000 in child support for his two-month-old daughter. Because? And because, get this. Because he's strapped for cash because of production of the Fast and Furious 7. That so Ludacris don't have a savings account. And he said he only made $55,000 last year. But Ludacris... I right, don't believe that <laughs> no. at all. Oh. Okay, all them albums Ludacris got, his songs are still being played in the, the radio. movies? Yes, the movies. He don't get no residuals from that? Are you fucking kidding me? No, are you telling me that Jay-Z and Diddy and P. Diddy are the only two smart rappers out there with their money? Because mm. these other rappers seem to be <laughs> all the to cash when it comes to paying for their kids. They need to take a, you know what, they need to take a handbook, a page off of whose handbook? Mm. P. Diddy's. P. Diddy got kids by all by about 15 women all around the world, and mm-hmm. he takes care of every, every last, last one, one of them. And the Christmas card that they came out with last year was gorgeous. But it was him them? and all his kids all on the steps. On the steps. Yes, I did that is that how nice. you fucking do it. P. Diddy can show you that none of his baby moms will ever have to get go after him for child support. Why? Because he's already taken care of them. Mm-hmm. And Ludacris, you can't pay $18,000 a month? Are you kidding me? And you're in... I thought you had a club, in a nightclub, and... His own. Ludacris, I love Nicolai. you, Ludacris. I really do love you, but I don't believe that. I think that is malarkey to the third power. But first of all, ain't no big... This, this is what kills me. I'm tired of these girls wanting all this fucking money Well, your girl baby. wanted 50-something thousand. Who? Oh. Khalees. Oh, well, I, said, I said yeah, she, she did. I she said she was real for that, too. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking money. What the fuck money. you need That's a house. That's a house. That's a house. You ain't saving it. You ain't putting... You You want to spend it on you. You want to go on trips. She want to go to the now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, shout out to Khalees. Because she released a new video. She got a new album coming out. Oh, yeah. That money going to what they have. I don't know. And Khalees got a damn show coming out on the cooking channel. Bitch, I know that's right. And, and she, better and she still want an extra $50,000. 55000 uh, It don't cost that much to produce an album. Especially ah. Khalees' album. Then it don't cost that much money for a cooking show. Where's this money going? Better be going to the Southern College Education. Right. $55,000 a month. And, and like month. all these celebrities be kicking out Kevin, all of this month. money a month. I think there should be I think there should be a yeah, law what's where the, law? the <laughs> money for child support seventy five percent should go to the child and twenty five to the mother. Just about ninety percent to the child. 10% to the mother, because mother ain't doing shit. No, she's taking care of the child. She, uh, she keeps uh, her kids. No, I don't care. That no, I'm man. saying, you can't say the mother's not doing shit, because there are mothers who don't take advantage of their They don't, child support. some that don't work. <laughs> they just collect this check. But then there are that. some who do, who take care of their kids. So you can't say they yeah, all do But that. I mean, like, let's let's be reasonable about child support. How and much then you got some dumb mothers child. who don't take their baby dads for child support at all. And, and they just dumb. They just dumb. Oh, he got. He gave me a couple of. Fuck a couple of dollars. Let's put it in the child support. What about the Phillies? Did you see the Philly Instagram? 
page what? that exposes all the damn beat the ass of Philly? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? But you know what? I agree with that. Expose their asses. Because there's too many on that page. But you know what? You know what? There's too many people, on, too many guys on that page that I see personally who walk around the city with this, that, and the third, and you can't even take care of your own child. But you know what? It's also the parents' fault, <laughs> yeah. too. The mother's fault, too. To spread her legs. Now, you already seen the guy, two, three kids by Latanya, Keisha, and Mickey. And this bitch, you gonna spread your legs from any of this baby? Like that baby that got that 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 yes. <laughs> It's all about thinking right. Hell the fuck low. He had 10 kids by like eight different women, and they were still having sex with him. Yes. And, women and, and then, <laughs> then what one of the girls is gonna say, Somebody got to pay for my kids. <laughs> Who the fuck are you kidding me? He's bitch. Well, it won't be him. Yeah, and it won't be me. <laughs> I don't, I don't care that they got the exposed page. Let's expose these girls keep <laughs> having these babies by these dumb ass <laughs> niggas. <laughs> these dumb niggas. And I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> no, but let's expose yes, them. Yes, like, let's come expose on. Them. How much money does it cost for child support? Men, if you know you got children, please take care of your responsibility. Or if you don't want to be held, if you don't you want to be held. Use a condom if you don't want no Or what you need to do is, you need to take care of your child so then they won't go after you for child support. Yeah, but some girls don't give a fuck. They know they, that you got money, they going right after you. And uh, and then they be fucking these pretty girls, the the the, mon the ones with money. They fuck these pretty girls and they be the most ratchet ones mm. with no fucking sense because all they see is a check. Mm. So they going right to the courthouse as soon as they get pregnant. They don't care about no condoms. And, and what, what's crazy to me is that do these do these rich men even care about the diseases that they may have? Okay. You just fucking and getting pregnant? Like, what else could happen besides just getting pregnant? Hello. They don't, like, but they don't think that far. It's just, and you and this Beyonce pictures, child. The tour is over with. No, the tonight. tour actually just started tonight. Child. And the pictures are getting sent to my phone. And I'm uploading them. Thank well, girl, you very much. Get, girl, ain't nobody I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry if Janet's not on tour. Oh, no, Janet, don't worry about it. Okay, of Janet, and I'm sorry if she's pregnant. That's she about, that's about, if she is pregnant, congratulations. <laughs> but let's talk about this rumor. <laughs> Talking about she's getting a divorce. Jenny getting a divorce. Jenny getting a motherfucking divorce. Ain't nobody. A divorce. They just got married. Ain't, ain't nobody picking up on this story. This is from the National Fucking Enquirer. Uh -huh. They having a slow news day. <laughs> Jenny ain't doing nothing but mind her motherfucking business, okay? Yeah, she and she y'all want to make up a rumor. Oh, well, she's calling her friends later night drunk. Well, who the fuck is these close friends telling the National Enquirer? Because I don't know nobody. Like, you don't really hear no scandals about Janet Jackson at all. So, fuck it, you know. But. Yes. Come on, Jeremy. Come on. I'm recording. Come on, Jeremy. He can come in here. Don't talk to him like that. Where you going? Downstairs. I'm on don't the road. Wait. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't talk to him like that. I said what? I didn't know who it was. That's my friend. I don't care. That's my nephew. Okay. Don't talk I'm to talking to him, like him like any that. kind of way I want to. Not him. But what you want to do? Don't talk to him like that. Now you talk to the rest of them like that. Don't no. talk to him like no. that. You need to talk to Charlie like that. Because every <laughs> no. time I come to fuck up in here. No, that's that why because you had this Charlie checking you. He don't check me. You saw I went in there and told him to turn that TV down. And what did he, he had no turn turn. 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 Yeah, he did. Because I went in there and told him. Because I'm recording. And I would have went in there if he did. He, well, you saw what he said when he answered the door. Oh, I thought you was Kevin. Uh, yeah, because he know. All oh, right. I don't play. Because no, no, he was getting ready to curse you out. That's why he said, oh, I thought you was Kevin. Charlie talked to me like that. And he damn sure don't talk to me like that. Because I'm older than Charles. And I put my foot down. All the way to fuck down. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you, my cat gonna try to follow me down and says so I'm about to get my niece with the belt. I say, bitch, you gonna sit try and give you some. How you doing? No, because I was waiting for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, he didn't know I was walking behind. He didn't know I was walking behind. <laughs> when he saw me, he's gonna say, you go upstairs. Hell no, because she needs her ass whoop and I need to witness it. He couldn't get the belt off the thing. He gonna say, oh, she's lucky I can't get it off. Here I go, oh, I'll get it off for you. Because she needs her ass whooped. So, Dife is that. So this this big dime. What you say? Dife. Oh, that's over in Jersey. Oh. DHS that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this lady in New York, there's a, a McDonald's manager. Um, <laughs> you know, there was a fire in the neighborhood, right? So a team of uh, firefighters came. After, after, yeah, after the, the fire. fire and yeah, they was hungry. So she, um, they... You know, they pay for the firefighters. Then, enough, I guess, like a whole group of firefighters came to eat at McDonald's because they was hungry at the Battle of the Blades. Is that the same day or a different the day? The same day. So, the manager thought it would be okay to call the supervisor to ask, you know, we had this um, whole crew of firefighters here to eat and I wanted to know if, you know, if we can cop them or whatever. So, I guess they told her no. And she did And anyway. she went off and she paid... Her and a, a couple of people in the crew, 
they got their money together to pay for breakfast for them just as a thank you uh -huh. for what they did in the neighborhood. Out their own pockets? Out their own pockets okay. and paid for it. So, you know, McDonald's fired the manager. McDonald's claimed that while she was on the phone with them, when they told her no, she cursed at them. So they said, we going to let her go. To me, that's motherfucking bullshit. When you, when you, first of all, McDonald's makes billions upon billions of dollars. Okay. When you have a corporation like that, copping somebody for some food ain't nothing. Do you know how much food McDonald's throw away just if they make an order wrong? That's a lot of money and not for that, trash. This should look, this should look, make McDonald's look, look bad, bad. Because they're saying no to people who are actually out there Helping people. Yeah. I'm not saying she got the comp every damn crew. No, but, but see, she did try it. <laughs> no, 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 she did. But she was trying to do a nice I understand thing. that. I understand that. But here's the catch 22. You already comp the first crew. No, she paid for it. Okay, you already. No, I'm saying you said she comped the first crew and then the second crew like, came. Yeah. And then she paid for all her money because they tore her up. Mm -hmm. Right? No, she paid for them the first time. And then she wanted the company to pay. She thought it would be a nice gesture for them to pay. Wait, wait, because no. it sounds like you said two different crew. I'm no, listen, there's saying. a, you know, it was like a little, let's say like three people come in. That three people from okay. the firefighter team come in. And you know, you seen the things blazing fire. Right. Like, you know what, let me take care of this for you. Right. So now you got a whole crew of workers mm -hmm. coming to McDonald's to eat after the fire. So she thought it would be nice if she called her boss and asked her boss, is it okay if we comp them for this breakfast? They said no. So I guess she got heated and cursed them out and hung up the phone. I don't know how it went down, but that's what happened. So the first three firefighters was a part of the big crew. I guess so. And but then they all came and then one of the cop everybody. You know why they all came? Because the three left and told the rest of them that probably, we got this for free. Probably. <laughs> but you know what? Like <laughs> like when I when I worked at Nuts to You, like it's cops kind of cops would get discounts, like city workers get discounts. Like it's just yeah. It's just things that you do. It is. And when you I mean, I'm not saying that McDonald's was obligated to pay for it, but I think it would have been a nice gesture. If anything, she should have been reprimanded for cursing, not if flat she out, it. yeah, if she cursed at all, but not just flat out fire somebody. So, you know, this... Uh, well, no, they all. fire you at jobs when you curse the supervisor. You well, don't get reprimanded for that. Well, let me tell you something. What? Well, they it's... it's it, no, because some people, some people curse in the heat of the moment. Yeah, like, but what job curse, do you know where you curse your boss out and you still got a oh, job I've the next day? before and didn't get fired. Well, that you are... You know what? Then you should have dropped on your knees and thank God. Because I ain't never been in no job where you can curse your boss out and then come to work Who the next said day? that you can curse them? I'm just saying like... No, but I'm just saying you can't put you sat on the spur in the moment. I can't... If you was my Boss, I can't say, you know what, you fuck you. You know what you're doing and think I'm going to have a job tomorrow morning. Are you crazy? That's everybody. Yeah, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Is it me? But hey, <laughs> you never know shit. It's people that... Well, I have Let me say something. If I was the boss of a corporation and I had somebody working for me, you would not disrespect me and curse at me. That is a no, no. That's well, a no, no. You know what? If stuff happens, so who? But who's to say she cursed or not? Yeah, that's why I said we don't even know she cursed. Well, listen, well, look. Okay. They probably got mad at her because she comped them the food now, the first time, and they probably said, "Well, you can't do that." Which I agree with you. McDonald's makes too much. Why you keep money. saying she comped? Look, she paid for. it. Well, she paid for it. Comped whatever. They didn't pay for it. <laughs> Point blank period. They didn't pay for it, so she comped it. Whether they paid or she paid, she. Well, look. McDonald's is totally not winning, okay? First of all, McDonald's didn't even. Everywhere. First of all, at the end of the day, McDonald's didn't lose money because she gave. Yeah. She paid for it, so I don't even see. First of all, okay, I okay. She called them because she didn't want to pay for the whole group. She just wanted them to be comp, even though she paid for the first three. Mm. But you know what she should have did? <laughs> she should have just said, okay. She should have just did to the first three people. Just said, okay, this is on y'all. It's that the third. But I really do believe that those three firefighters left out that store and went down the street and told them. What they, what they, whatever they said, it don't matter. It's, the corporation could have paid for because McDonald's. Yeah, they could have. Back. They could have. Yeah, but you know have. what you should do since you have a problem with it? Call McDonald's. Oh no, I'm not calling McDonald's for a motherfucker. All right, because guess what? Because guess what? What well, the story down when you need to call? No, you won't have me finished. <laughs> so the story done went nationwide, and now this manager, who's 23, mother to inspire, now she's getting job offers out the ass. Like it's just not making McDonald's look good. Like. If anybody had what they say, what that old school saying? Okay. When one door closes, another, another one opens. So yes. why are we even talking about this? That's because she had a job. job. So what? <laughs> bitch, you ain't come up in here for no topic. I'm I don't want to talk about. I am the topic, bitch. Oh, lies. Well, go ahead and talk. 
Let me let me run that Let me tell you something. This was a blessing to her. Like yeah. I went to my old job the, like a few weeks ago, and I ran into my old boss who was real real phony with me. Even though we, I, even though she knows that she didn't like me, and I know she didn't like me because we had a conversation, but she was real phony. This and another. So you know what I told her to her face? Yeah. I said, when y'all let me go from this job, I dropped on my knees and thank God because I had another one lined right up. And she said, Oh, did you? I said, Yes, I did. And I walked right away. Well, where the fuck you see her at the time? I was over at my old job. I went oh. to Cooper. Okay. First of all, people. Some people think that when they let you go, that you're just going down on your luck. No, bitch, you don't know my name. This one would never be down on his luck, okay? You let me go, and then not only that, you didn't even let me go. I wanted to go, but then you got in touch with my old boss, and y'all had a conversation, and I guess she said something to you where you thought you would let me go, but bitch, I was already leaving, and she didn't know that. So I told her, I dropped to my knees, and I thank God, because when one door closes, another one opens. And this one, this lady, and it's true, because what happened? A week after I left Cooper, a week later I was a brand new job. Bitch, won't he do it? Yes, he will. See, let me tell you something. This whole incident what happened at that lady at McDonald's, you can't even get mad at McDonald's. You know why you can't get mad at McDonald's anymore? Because of the simple fact that not only does this lady have all these different job offers, but now she's probably making more money than she ever did at McDonald's. So, to, to more power to her. I wouldn't even get mad at McDonald's if I was her. I would tell her, thank you, McDonald's. Y'all did me a favor. Now, if she got fired and didn't have no jobs lined up, then that'd be a different story. Remember that story we did about that family who left that note on that receipt to that gay waitress saying that you, here's a tip, you should be gay? Yeah. Oh, you know, they later said that they think that that was a hoax, that she oh, didn't yeah. do that. Oh, yeah, they said it was a hoax, and I don't know if she still got a job or not. But I they should, that. yeah, that's who they should fire. Yeah, she, she should have been fired, okay? <laughs> but you got all this mess attention, we're right. feeling sorry for you. Yeah. This and then you made that thing, we all don't pay money to you. Now, bitch! Where are the motherfucking receipts? And what did you do with the money, Kenya? That Don Tyler's his daughter. You tried it, okay? That's why you can't trust a nice face. <laughs> Don Tyler said, been in the Philadelphia area for over 30 fucking years. Take that money. And people offer their money over $100,000. Charity money, Kenya. Charity money. For charity. Oh my Money god. Money was supposed to go to charity and he was taking, taking it. Taking it, bitch. And then talking about he was on pills and stuff and it made him crazy. And he but that's the part where he was taking the money for to buy pills. <laughs> I'll let you know. Worth it. the bills, bitch. You don't know who was, who was he getting high with, Whitney? <laughs> you? Bitch, I, 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 I ain't going down with you on that one. I'm just saying. Because remember, they said Whitney was getting this stuff, and they didn't know how she was getting it. Because they said she wasn't going out there and getting it. But I know who was getting it for her. But I ain't going to say it. Because I ain't the one to gossip. So you <laughs> I didn't say nothing. You heard me? I didn't say nothing. Bitch, you know I'm just putting a little sound <laughs> You won't get me. Okay. You won't have you apologize for the next time. You true. Right, man. That's no. Not if, but you did. Oh, God. You did. Not if. But when? It was over. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. What? Oh, man. Yo. If only y'all was in this room. <laughs> it's out of shit in here. Bitch. I don't know. Oh my god. She lied about that whole thing and actually got. She probably was loving that. Mm -hmm. When she was getting that money. Yes. And you know, the, you know what she should. Money. They should make her pay uh, every last dime of that back. Oh, I'm pretty sure they probably did. I'm pretty sure they took that money back. Like, you want to lie. She got thousands and of them dollars. Said, I think they said that was her handwriting that was on the thing. Like. It ain't that serious. Like, gay people already got it bad enough. Please right. don't make it worse for the rest of the gays. No, she ain't make it worse for me. What I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so speaking of checks bouncing and stealing money oh, and shit. My God. Okay, now let's, let me try to simplify, simple, simplify this. Yes. Simplify this for y'all. So, look, so we all seen Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, saving our daughters and everything. So, Kenya wrote a blog about <laughs> Nene. When you finish talking about it, can I read the blog? Yes, go ahead. Right now. Well, <laughs> okay. yeah, wait, wait. No, you talk about it because I got to So fire. Kenya wrote a blog about Nene. <laughs> Nene wrote a blog about Kenya and what happened with the thing. So while these girls are gossiping, Saving Our Daughters releases a statement. 
saying how, you know, they were going to be a part of the um, event. And then they said they weren't, they didn't want to be a part of it anymore. Had they known it was for Nini, they would have been a part of it so they could give Nini a plaque as a thank you for, you know, always mm -hmm. donating and saving our daughters and everything. Mm -hmm. So then it was like, well, long story short, Kenya, even though they use our name, you know, for this, Kenya has not donated that money. money from that show to us. Oh. So with that letter, you know, I posted the blog about it like, mm -hmm. bitch. So then later that night, I was like, Kenya just show the receipts or something mm -hmm. like that. Or oh, girl, damn, damn, damn. So then later that night, you know her and B. Scott, good girlfriends. Mm -hmm. So she sent B. Scott the text messages that she sent to the he, yeah, because that's what B. Scott posted on his thing. Yeah, I, he he so, they had the receipts of them going back and forth. But all I did really did see was a check for $500, which Saving Our Daughter said she sent them, and that was for a Christmas check. But they didn't get the money from well, the thing. Yeah, so, sure. but B. Scott had the text messages. He had the checks. It was a check. One check was for $500. Then it was one check for $1,000 to the show. And now that Kenya has her receipts... They're saying that saving our daughters took the uh, the blog post down. Of course. And not mm -hmm. and, and not only that, um damn, I just lost my train. Trying to now I'm seeing that saving our daughters is not even a charitable I mean a tax a legal charity with the IRS. Ooh. And now they're about to be audited <laughs> and they wanna know what they did, but the Beast Scott also said that Tawanda Tracy and um <laughs> Tawanda Tracy and Trina Went on, um, who wants to be a millionaire? I don't know how much they won because they came on the, the day right after. And whatever money they sent to them, he said, I don't know what happened with the money. Maybe they do. Because I want to know what happened with the money they got from who wants to be a millionaire oh. for saving our daughter's charity. So, wait. Oh, the money that the Brackens were going on the show, they were going to give it to saving, saving our, our daughters. daughters. Well, then maybe you can actually. Bitch, let me call it one right now. No, don't call it <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now, you know, they're about to be audited by the IRS saving our daughters because they're not illegal because they had their they had their license revoked their maybe taxes the Brax, maybe revoked. the Brax has found out about that and maybe that's probably why they didn't send the money I don't know I don't know if they got I, I think they did get the money because you know they take that episode months ago right. months ago and then they were supposed to part they were supposed to be a part of the NBA cares thing or whatever and then they won the part because well, of that can I read the letter that's go, that's go that's the, not the, that that Kenya, for those of you that didn't see it, this is what she wrote. Um, and this is, before I read this, this is so ironic because Kevin and I had just talked about this a few days ago on our one of our latest episodes about how, well, Kevin mostly been talking about how Nini's light is not <laughs> shining anymore. And she's trying to get that crown back, but Kenya has taken it. I said, see, look at, look at God. It ain't even about people watching this show. It's basically about us having common sense. Mm -hmm. It ain't even got nothing to do with, oh, they watch us. And so, no, it's about having common sense. And so we know. That's why Michelle Williams always says she's always fascinated how we know things. Because it's not about what we know. It's common fucking sense. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> this is what Kenya had posted. It says, her light has dimmed. She's referring to Nene. Her light has dimmed and she is clinging on to a title of being Queen B. The truth is there is enough light for all for us all to shine. None of these bitches here are on my level. I'm on. This is what Nene Leakes said in her, in the last episode of um, Housewives. Housewives. Kenya responded, Well, Nene is correct. We are all, in fact, above this petty, hate-filled, ego-tripping, one-woman show, paranoid, hateful drama of hers. Mm -hmm. We do not think we are better than other housewives because we are all on the same show the last time I checked. Oh, speaking of being above someone, Candy is a Grammy Award winning songwriter and astute businesswoman and actual rich bitch. <laughs> Cynthia is an accomplished model and businesswoman and Phaedra is an attorney. And I am a former Miss USA and the only one in the group with an actual crown. Yes. Worry. Unlike Nene, I can't be dethroned as I'm, a as I'm a part of history. With that said, Nene is a former stripper with a few short-lived gigs in Hollywood given to her by one man. My scoreboard says that my scoreboard says that makes her not on our level. I'm not sure about you, but I'm looking forward to the future of Real Housewives of Atlanta and not the past. But I know this. Yes, Cam, you better <laughs> read. Oh my God! Look, let me now tell you that, something. 
But everything she said was true. Yeah. And I know, and and you know she went in when she mentioned Phaedra because you know she don't even like Phaedra. Yeah. And she said, yes, Phaedra's an attorney. But you know, mm, we were see, not see, she got a bootlegger. Um, yeah, I'm not going to begin. I'm not going to get it Phaedra. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> you need me. <laughs> So Nene talk about see with me and my damn lights are headed to on the view. Now see, I thought that Nene saw my tweet. Mm -hmm. I think I thought she seen my tweet about her, her lights are dimming and everything. But come to find out, she was referring to Kenya. she was referring to Kenya because Kenya said in her blog. I was like, damn, I was all excited for a second, but that just went down, child. But all I got to say is this: Nene has to learn how to eat that humble pie. Like, be humble for everything that you have, because just as God giveth, God can take it from you. And it will be all over. And just like the blog said, it's true. Like Nene had Glee, the new normal. Mm -hmm. All right. So what else do you have besides the Housewives of Atlanta? What have you done that can stand the test of time or that can keep bringing in coins to you? Mm -hmm. At least Kenya got her own production company and got her own fucking films and stuff mm -hmm. that I don't watch on Netflix. But Neither hey. one of us do, but hey. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> Somebody's watching them. Yes. So I want, I'm really going to I'm going to tune in tomorrow. Because you know Netflix view. don't put everything on there. No, they sure don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm going to tune in to find out what Nene got going on. Me too. On the view. Because I'm off tomorrow. Yes. So I mean, you, you didn't off. off. You was off today. I know. I was at work today. Oh. Uh, I'm about to say. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Go like that again. You, you're still trying. <laughs> you're still trying. That was funny, man. And I didn't realize how many people watch our show because I got a lot of people hitting me up. What is, what's going on? What was it? <laughs> My like, Kevin business. tried it. Then somebody made a caption up top. Well, you should put that on right. the shirt. That would have been cute, but. No, no. Uh, because then I had on somebody else's design and everything. <laughs> you tried it. So, <laughs> let me, because I, I got the heavy up award. Me and Sam, you're not got to get out of here later on. So. Who you want to play with? Well, I'm going with my friend Keenan, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to meet Eddie there. And, um. It's going to be a nice little mixer. You should go. Mm -hmm. You should go. You've never been uh, there. It's, it's, where is it at? It's actually, it's, what I like about the chocolate mixer is that, I'm on, look at me promoting now. It's not no young kids that be there. It's mm -hmm. like guys like 30s, 40s, late 20s there. And everybody have a good time. It's no drama going on. Well, I, you know, I can't, I got to start with my car tonight. What's wrong with your car? Well, my old car. I have to clean it all out because tomorrow I'm getting a new one. Oh, well, I see. <laughs> the fuck they got to... That's tomorrow. Yeah, but I can do it in the morning. Because well, I'm well. off. <laughs> well, look. Who's anyway. getting up in the morning and cleaning out the car? No, no, I said the pussy can. Pay somebody. Who the fuck I know? I got that? personal shit in my car. I can't be paying nobody until they walk away from my you personal shit. You don't want to see nobody with their flashlight. Okay. Flashlight? <laughs> 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 Tried it. Tron was on uh, Facebook talking about um, ordering one. I might like, order me one. I never. Don't order that because if I come in here one day and I see it, like, ah! I might order one because I want to see what it's like. I never had one. So, yeah, because you're not used to sticking it in. Oh, you always trying it. <laughs> and I'm going to be nice, guys. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm going to make that shirt. Sure. You always <laughs> trying it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if somebody put a clip together of you <laughs> you saying you try you try somebody needs to do that yes what did they put make a clip of um oh I don't live here yes I for, Ashley I haven't seen Ashley like Ashley disappeared yeah she like, disappeared she like hey I'm still around and then she be like, like go on you be like wait how do you get that number again I don't even got her number but look I want to give a kudos to the Gap because the Gap ain't is to getting rid of minimum wage, okay? They said no more minimum wage for none of our workers. They, right now, the PA, I guess the state minimum wage is seven twenty-five, or is that federal? Federal. So they're starting in June. They're going up to nine dollars an hour, and that's for part time and full time. And right. then well, in June, be ten dollars an hour. And then in but. June two thousand fifteen, they're going up to ten dollars an hour minimum. So kudos to the gap because it's hard for people out here trying to get jobs and everybody wants to hire people at minimum wage and these companies make a lot of money. Yes, to be giving somebody and seven something an hour. If 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 Barack Obama, if you can raise the for contractors to uh, ten dollars and ten cent, there's no reason why it can't be um, what's it national minimum wage for ten dollars and ten cents. For everybody. I think, I Not think just contract for everybody, everybody yes. But everybody. Because nobody can survive off of seven dollars 
and twenty five cents. It ain't happening. No, I mean, you like, can barely survive off of ten dollars, but it's a start. That's close to what? It's a start. Dollars a week off of forty dollars. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That nobody can live off that. No. And especially if they got kids, and then especially they. Let me stop because I'm about to read. Especially if they got a big dad right. that don't want to pay child support. Like, come on. So. I think we all need to start taking this stuff kind of seriously. Because right. we don't fight for this shit. Because then when election day comes, mm -hmm. we keep putting the same... Bad, no, the, the Republicans keep putting the same people in there because we don't go out the ball unless Barack Obama want to take it. But little do y'all know, we only got two short years yes. until the next presidential election. And Barack Obama ain't going to be on that ticket because sure he can't run no more. So y'all better wake up. Wake up, everybody! No more sleeping. And you think that, I think they're gonna probably get rid of Obamacare once, once they get him out of office. Thinking time, thinking head. You better sing that. The so, world has been so <laughs> for what it used to be. be. There's so much pain, war and love Beyonce, oh. Beyonce is a solo artist now. Right. She went out. She doesn't need no help from you and the rest of the girls. <laughs> when you get that text message, uh, what was that about? <laughs> so, I'm just saying, don't cut me off when I'm singing. <laughs> uh, you ain't like you was doing a church hymn. Or Dallas, Dallas, can Wait. you make me lose? I really want y'all to go watch that video that I told you about with Lil Mo, Coco, <laughs> Fantasia, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, 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 God, uh, Kiki Shear. I mean, it was a battle. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Little Mo and Coco oh, was going at it, darling. <laughs> Look, then I was mad at some of the comments because y'all don't know that Little Mo is from the church. Okay. They're talking about, I don't know what she was up there trying to prove. She wasn't trying to prove anything. Okay, that girl can fucking blow. You see her sit on our couch? I mean, sit on the couch and sit. Because <laughs> it wasn't out. Okay. We were just waiting. <laughs> yes. Now, you know, so she did that. But I want you to watch because it's it was bad. Little Mo can sing. Yes, but they, ass off. all they that was just all of them together was a mess because everybody's trying to out sing and then Kiki was like, Fuck that. Let me calm this down. Kiki Shear, Karen Clark's yeah, daughter? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then she came out the dish. She was like, I wanna know who's fighting the devil. Who's doing this? Who you know how to get you know how to part you know, talk. Yeah. So <laughs> he tries it. <laughs> But they do. They will stop a song in a second. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you got to go on YouTube and just watch random videos, not of all of them together, but different. <laughs> that Dorinda Clark, mm. well, she I looks tell you, good for her She goes oh my God. off. <laughs> <laughs> Now don't break my chin, you know the leg is big. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm like, God, don't break that! You know the shoe? What? <laughs> oh, God. That's the And you think Karen goes off the ring to be like, Yes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yes! Hey. What? So, <laughs> don't let me get in charge when they start singing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sit your oh, hands oh, down. I'm gonna put that video up for you. I can't even think of what song that was she was singing, but I wanna find it and show you. <laughs> so, Basketball Wives LA return on oh Monday. God. And let me just tell y'all, that's how you make a comeback after a year and a half of being off the air, okay? I don't know what happened while they, they was debating on bringing them back or not. But these girls brought the drama. So, we still got Jackie, uh, Malaysia, and. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Drea. So the new girls are Brandy, Sunday, and Brittany. Well, British. Excuse me. So anyway, I don't want to break down all the fucking characters. All I want to say is this. I feel bad for Brandy because Brandy, you know, she had ovarian cancer and she's trying to find a good doctor in LA so she can have another child. If all else fails for her to have another baby, I'm hoping that maybe her, her husband can find a surrogate for her to have a baby. She seems more like on, on a... On a She's level-headed. Mm -hmm. Her and Malaysia are the level-headed ones so far. Jackie Christie, let me tell y'all something. 
Y'all can say what y'all want about Jackie, but if she wasn't on this show, there would be no show. Because Jackie knows how to get into people like a master manipulator. And she knows how to break people down. She knows how to get people to tell she knew how to get people to tell them all their business, business secrets and mm -hmm. business that she could tell other people about and gossip about. Um, what I was about to she say. She wouldn't get me that. Yeah, but Jackie was really, <laughs> like, she's a good interviewer, but she's bad at showing sympathy. Like, the sympathy is fake. She's like, oh, my God. Like, really? Tell me more about that. Oh, my God. Because she just want to hear yeah, what's she's being said. so fake. Jackie, I don't know how many times you're going to keep throwing parties for gays and lesbians. When are you and your husband are just going to say that y'all swingers or y'all bi or something? Like, I, there's no way. I don't know nobody on reality TV that always want to keep throwing something for the gays and lesbians. Want to do something, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Like, you need a new gig, okay? Because trying to get with the gays is not popping no more. Like, I mean, you could do your stuff, but come on. Like, is it genuine or do you just want to... You do these things because you, you don't want to send us a little really message. Yes, that's we what already I want think to your husband is a little. Oh, ain't, ain't no doubt in my mind. He ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. She's probably going to let him dibble and dabble, or she probably joining. I don't know. Let me stop before she trying to come for me. That'd but come. that'd be a good interview. Okay, <laughs> you mean Jack and Chrissy? Yes, we need to get her on here. Do a phone interview with her. Um, what's, what else? Drea, Drea still got her same bullshit going on. The new girl, Brittany, oh my God, she's going to tell Jackie, as long as I don't find out about my husband cheating on me, I don't care. I am so tired of y'all women saying that. Check for them. It's, 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 it's too bad. Like, you going to talk about if a man making $10 an hour can cheat, what makes you think a man making millions of dollars won't cheat? No, the problem is you don't know your motherfucking worth. I don't give a fuck how much money a man is making. You don't let nobody cheat on you. And then And then, yeah, walk all over you and just do all kinds of stuff. Like... I don't get it. These days, there's not, it's not a lot of, this. it's more disease today than it was back then. So even if you don't know, what if you end up getting something? Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's not worth it to have a man that you're going to allow to just keep cheating on you. Y'all women need to know, and men need to know your worth. It's not worth getting cheated on and you not knowing. Like, that's fucking stupid. You just there for the check. Just and I'm never gonna say no bullshit. Like if if he cheating on me, as long as I don't find out what. Jackie got her together. I mean, Jackie made sense right there. You know, it's it's nothing I don't know about what my husband don't do. Go up, Jackie. So much you know, cause she she got a short leash on him. Yeah, and then Sunday, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. Very short. Okay. Leash. Like, he's sitting there cooking the shit. She trying to eat up the food. He's like, no, bitch, go sit down. So um, Sunday, Sunday is introduced to us. And um, she said she got daughter problems like Jackie. And then she was like, her, her daughter her daughter called her a hoe. And then all of a sudden, this, mm. picture, this picture comes up on the computer, on Twitter or Instagram, of her daughter sucking dick with a dick right to her mouth. Oh, I saw that picture. Oh, I thought they were saying that that was Sunday, but it's actually her daughter. daughter. I knew that was a young guy. But they said you could that. tell, even though I couldn't see his face, you could tell by the body shape and frame mm. that was a young guy. Oh, you could tell a, a guy's age by the way. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... Oh, I can. I sure can. Anyway, so, um... Yeah. I'll I'm, keep that on the lookout. I'm surprised you didn't... As much, much, much my fit stuff you... Well, you don't look at the See? Anyway, so, um... Well, we know you're looking at the nuts. No, I look at everything. So... You're looking at it because that's what you want. <laughs> what's, what you want right now? I'm trying to find that video for you so when we're finished, <laughs> I can show you. And I got that real cycle order. And I so, can't remember what she was saying. So, what's her name? So, she's saying that somebody leaked it, but they think that... Sunday leaked the picture. Her own daughter's that's picture? A, that's what they're no, saying. No, I don't think she would do that. That's what they're saying. Because that's a... That, I saw the picture. And her daughter's face is at that dick. Mm -hmm. And there's no... And the thing about it is that guy... See, these guys be so smart. And these girls be so dumb. They let these guys take pictures and record them. And these guys will never show their face because they don't mm -hmm. never have to. Y'all better put these masks on if y'all want to be nice. I mean... Okay, so like Kevin did. Oh, no, but you tried it. But I, <laughs> I, I, I like the, like the masks fine video. I don't like those masks videos because it's just... I. I need to know who that is. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, so if I ran into them in the street, I'd be like this. Don't you wear masks? Bitch, why? <laughs> why would I? I don't need to wear no mask. Just like I don't need to do it in, with the lights off. The lights can be on for me. It does not bother me. I want to see everything. I want to know what I'm looking at. I want to see everything too, but... You I know, some people like, turn the lights off for what? Oh, because they hide something. Yeah, yeah but don't hide nothing with me because I... Let me tell you something. I don't know nothing to hide. <laughs> what, what, that, what, what that song? All of me. Well, that's a church song. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Sorry. 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 Sor
sorry. Dad. I'm like, what? Yeah, I forgot. And the kids singing at church too. <laughs> sorry. Damn. So this other girl, I think her name is Arian Child. She got issues going on because our baby daddy, old child oh, that's support, all the or whatever. Way. I'm sorry, not all of me, all the way. All the way. <laughs> well, you better all, all the, the way. way. Right. Or yeah, that's the church song, not all of me. Sorry. So Jackie get these girls together to talk about this gay event that she wants to throw for Glad and everybody. So the girl British, no, the girl Brandy asked Sunday. So what's what's this? I researched. I'm like this bitch ain't researched. What I think happened was Jackie done told this girl about what happened. Cause I ain't seen nothing on no blogs about no Sunday Carter. Mm -hmm. Who is blogging about Sunday Carter? Okay. So she said I did my research and I seen that you had you know daughter issues. Then the other bitch British. Well, what the? Why is you asking her questions like that? that was just you shouldn't even ask no question me. like that. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. What's wrong with asking like? What's going on with her and her daughter? Everybody's sitting there at the table trying to get to know each other. So, you know, they you know, they get her together. Mm -hmm. And then five minutes later, the no, same one who the says, same one that says Why are you asking her that? Gonna ask Drea, Is she a hub? Are you a hub? <laughs> and then everybody went off on British. See, British, you made yourself look stupid. Oh, cause I wanted to know. Why would you ask a question about somebody while they would ask a question? Bitch, cause they wanna know, just like you wanna know. If you didn't want to know, like you said, you should have left. But then the girl, Arian, she wants to ask Drea all of these questions about a man Drea fucked with six years ago because she has two children by him. So about all I'm saying is don't talk about my children's father like that. And Drea's not even by She's not right. a bitch. I'm not with him. Was, you're not with you're him. You're not even with that him. That was six like, years ago. I love how Drea put that. Drea yeah. said, you're not with him. I'm not with him. The only person who should be coming to me is the woman who is with him. Okay. But that's my kid's father. I got kids. But... Like Dre said, I wasn't with him for a long time. Like, what? And you going to ask me what I said about him <laughs> when I was with him or when I wasn't with oh No, I think it was when she was with him. Yeah, no, she said she... Yeah, when she was with no, him. She, she questioned Drea like, about what Dre said yeah, when Drea, Drea was, was with him. Wendy Williams show. And said she lived with him. him and, like, that was a long time ago. Whatever happened with them, it happened. Mind you, it was Why so long ago, I didn't even know what guys she was talking about. I, and I don't know who he is because I never heard of him. I still don't even know. Like, like these girls be going off for these basketball players that nobody has ever heard about. I and never will. Dre should have killed that one by saying, bitch, is he still fucking you? Who? <laughs> then why are you questioning me about yeah. him and what I said about him when I was with him? What? Dre like, did get her I answer. got my own money. I don't need no check. Everybody, like, <laughs> everybody, everybody got quiet. Like, like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Dre is like, I don't need no check. Yes, you do need a check because you wouldn't be going off like nobody can. No, basically, Dre is saying, no. Oh, oh, you mean the girl saying, yeah, I was about to say, because Dre is saying, I don't need no check like her. Well, see, and who's Dre's baby father? Like, I'm pretty sure she's not getting a child support <laughs> check. They feel that girl. No. <laughs> oh, that's her? that's her? She's cute. She is pretty. <laughs> Did you see the new ones they was putting to her as the Muslim girl and the girl? No, they true. They got her together and a little Kim poster. <laughs> oh, she is cute. She they shouldn't have did that. So, all this whole time, Jackie Christie ain't saying nothing. She's sitting back, having her drink, just letting the girls go at it. And then, you know, what you call him? What's her name? What is her fucking name? Dre got everybody at that table together. She said, bitch, I'm just like everybody else at this table was before they got a ring on it. For those who do have a ring on it. And a lot of them girls, they sit at the games, wait in the locker room, wait at the hotel, go to New Orleans for All-Star Weekend. Oh, just wait till all the baby mama drama that's about to come out before Christmas. Because you know somebody got pregnant. Uh -huh. And they're going, it's going to be a big NBA. Mark my words! And the thing happen. about it is that these NBA players don't learn. Because they're young. Dumb, stupid. They get drunk, find these girls to play with a fat Yo, ass. How about the football player who... Got arrested recently for drugging the women. Uh, yes, and like he he's a nice, nice looking. Guy. What the fuck is wrong with you? I could. Can you mean that? Because you know when I see the names, I, I Google. Okay. It's an, an image Google. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to read about him. I want to look at him. I looked at this man and I said, "Are you kidding me? You don't have to drug nobody." nobody okay. As nice looking as you are. Now let's see. Got something. And he did it on more than one occasion. They said over 11 girls he done drugged and raped. And used the same thing with them by saying, oh, I got to go to back my hotels to room. And they was doing two of them at a time. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. If you want to drug somebody, you got to do one. Like, First I of all, if you are, if you are, <laughs> you're an NFL star, <laughs> and you're on TV, 
These girls gonna want you anyway. Anyway. A lot of them hopes, okay? They yeah. ain't gonna say it, but they hopes. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And he was not. I can see if he was an ugly oh, guy, yeah. but he was nice looking. I'm thinking like he really had to drug these women. You don't have to drug them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure any one of them would have willingly went with you, and they probably wouldn't have like went out and had sex. And who with wants them to fuck the drugged out body? Right? Because I don't can't, get that. See, I like to interact when I'm yeah. doing stuff like that. Go off. I don't want them to be laying there, and I'm <laughs> laying there, and everybody's laying there, and I, I don't understand. Just like on the pornos when they having sex and nobody's saying anything, mm -hmm. that's weird to me because I'm thinking like it don't feel good. Does it feel good? Like why are y'all not saying anything? I'm one of those people that I have to. Interact. I have to make noise. I we all need to be making noise and saying how good it feels, or what I want them to do, or do. Like, Where is this Mikel coming from? Because <laughs> I'm a couple years. You don't never talk like this. That's crazy. No, but I'm just, just saying. I'm just being go on, honest. Go on. I just being honest. Yeah, That's I not mean, something. Because that that will be a blow to the ego if you it's don't have nobody. It's a real big blow to the ego. You don't have nobody making somebody, no and they're not saying anything. Morning, you doing but see, I've never had a problem. And you going down there? All right. Because every time you go down there. Because every boys. time. I know that. Every time. <laughs> we laid in that bed all day Friday. Wait and all, all night. All day Saturday. <laughs> but early Sunday morning. <laughs> he got up. <laughs> so nasty. But all powers in his pants. Like, let me stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But look, we got to get the hell out of here. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and um, we'll be back. Um, I might, I don't know. I might make a video this weekend about the have and the have nots, because I got to catch up on it. And don't forget Mama Mondays this Monday, and we'll be back on that Tuesday on the 25th. So we'll see you at 3 p.m. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace. Bye. Ah, I have to find this video. And since it was a video that I...